Hi everybody, welcome to the opensource.com weekly top five video for April 17th. Uh, this week I'm going to talk about video editing, Git for documentation, maker spaces in the future of open hardware, DevOps with Docker, and cool DE. All right, let's hop in. At number five, we have layered compositing in KDN Live. This month's Multimedia Makers column by Seth Kenlon introduces video editing geeks to doing layered compositions with the tool KDN Live. At number four, Git and GitHub for open source documentation. Anne Gentle works in open source projects for the OpenStack project at Rackspace, where they use Git extensively for documentation. In this article, Anne explains how their documentation workflows mimic their code collaboration workflows. So think patches, peer review, and pull requests on GitHub. At number three, the makerspace is the next open source frontier. In the third installment of Jono Bacon's Six Degrees column, he takes a look forward into the future of open hardware with a heartfelt look back at his luck of having a computer as a child. And then at the present, where he sees the potential for learning and growth of his own child with the tenets of open source that include a firm foundation in collaboration. You can join the discussion by pondering the question, how do you believe that we could create a world in which we build projects and products as openly and enga as engaging as they do for open source? At no number two, modern DevOps with Docker. This question has been on the mind of many these days, and it's, is Docker production ready? If you ask Avi Kabali, the answer is a resounding yes. He knows because his company, Shippable, ships thousands of Docker containers in production every week. Ricky Inslee interviewed Avi prior to his ApacheCon talk on the subject that he gave earlier this week. Finally, at number one, Nine Reasons to Use KDE. David Both, one of our writers on all things Linux, tells us that the open source desktop environment KDE originally stood for cool with a K desktop environment. Though more forgotten these days, David uses or gives us nine solid reasons why the K in KDE should still stand for cool. All right, that's it, everybody. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time.